Hello guys, so this is the big, this is going to be the wife's new car, we still got a couple steps to get through before it's officially ours, but this is the one we're going for, so this is a 2007 Saturn Aura XR, and uh, it's got the big, it's got the big dog 300 horse V6 in it, the 3.6, uh, configured to front wheel drive of course but yes yeah, same engine that would be in the Impala and the uh, Camaro and uh, actually I think these earlier ones were 250 horsepower but uh, same difference it's pretty zippy little car uh, there's zero there's like zero wrong with it it's only got 55,000 miles I'm just sort of checking it over First things I'm going to do is uh, we're going to change the transmission fluid uh, once it's ours because you're supposed to do it every 50,000 miles on these and it just has a little drain plug. Um, these are sealed transmissions so there's no reason to change the filter. I'll put some new uh, some new and uh, some new sheathing on this and uh, replace that. Looking pretty old and punky. PVC and uh, we're going to do the PCV uh, mod. You got to drill those out a little bit because they don't breathe too good. And we're going to put a catch can, an oil catch can in here. And uh, the rear shocks need to be replaced. That's it. These are kind of rusty, but uh, actually they're in really good shape. And the struts are in good shape. The rubbers are in really good shape in there. So I think I'm just going to hit these with some black paint, pretty those up. Um, yeah, it's a really nice car. Everything's in order. So, uh, it's too bad it's snowing out today. I'm going to put the covers back on it and uh, we'll uh, got to line that little guy up here. back on it we'll start it up show you guys the interior and stuff it's a really nice car it's fairly loaded it's got uh, heated seats and all like that I'm gonna be using a higher end oil on this car I use just the Walmart oil on the Grand Prix but those 3800 engines are dinosaurs so I kind of like the crappy oil because they need the vitamins but uh, these newer engines they uh, they need to open my hands right in front of the camera sorry about that so let's go ahead and we're gonna close the hood and, and uh, start it up it's it's covered in snow it's it's snowing pretty good out here oh it does have uh, factory it's got factory uh, remote start. Let me uh, find the keys and we'll do that. So, there it is. Factory remote start. So, that all works good. It's really a nice car. It's very quick. It's got 18 inch wheels on it. Probably going to paint them black at some point. We're going to get the windows tinted for her. She wants tinted windows and I got to tint the taillights like I did on the Grand Prix and the Charger. So, doing all that. These cars come with a tuned exhaust which basically means it's a little bit higher flowing than a stock exhaust and it uh, it's the typical GM one into two so it has a Malibu style you know muffler system where it's a single all the way to the muffler and then it comes out to uh, the muffler and the muffler sits sideways like an old Trans Am or Camaro from the 80s and uh, yeah so it's the higher trim package of the Saturn Aura these cars are based on the uh, Opel Sigmas and the Chevy Malibu the Opel is the uh, German version of this car 
and uh, and they came with three different engines. You could get a 2.4 liter, uh, or there is also the 2.4 hybrid, which is the four cylinder. You see 3.5 liter V6, and the 3.6 liter V6. This has the 3.6 because it's the higher trim level. Um, sort of on the lower end of the XR trim level because it doesn't have the leather or anything, but um, show you guys inside. It's got the nice cloth interior. Has heated seats. So it's warming up, running. Let's put the um, key in it so that the gauges pop on. And there we go. It's got, like I said, 55,000 miles on it in 2007, which is amazing because Bullet, the Pontiac, is got 217,000 miles and it's a 2006. My Charger's a 2014 with 160,000 miles, so it's pretty good. It was a one-owner car, and uh, it's got some pretty decent uh, things. You know, it's you got your home link right here. You know, your map lights. You got uh, this has actually has ambient lighting right here. So at night, this lights up, nice little ambient lighting. We have a compass, an electrochromatic mirror, of course, your airbag indication, a nice, this is a six disc CD changer, uh, which I don't really listen to CDs. It also has Sirius XM satellite radio, which is working, so the person must have a lifetime, I don't know, thing maybe your heater controls, then you have, you know, your shifter, your cup holders, your console, typical stuff there. Little Cubby has a 12-volt uh, plug in it. We have cruise control buttons here. This is your information buttons for the dash. You can go through and look at things. Of course, you have your talk, hands-free talk feature. Your uh, stereo buttons, these here are for manual mode. Flappy pedals. Power, it's got the power pedal option, so the pedals come forward or back as you need them. It has a tilt telescoping wheel, which goes forward, backward, up and down. You know, all your typical stuff there. Your, uh, your, your fog lamps, your multi-switch does that and your multi-switch for the wipers on the side. I did notice that the lock button here is a little screwed up so I might order one of those covers. Um, you know window buttons, window lockout feature. But yeah it's a really nice car and um, <clears throat> well, there's nothing really else much to show. It is a Saturn so it's kind of the high end of the low end if you know what I mean. But I tell you, with that 252 horsepower V6 under the hood, and this car is smaller than the Grand Prix, it goes. It has no problems getting up to highway speed at all. So, we're going to, uh, I'm going to maintain this car actually better than I did with the Pontiac. And... Yeah, so wipe the windows here. There we go. <laughs> but yep, this is the car we're gonna go with. We're still waiting on some financial things to happen. And uh, once all that happens, this will be Holly's new car. Then we're gonna start the project Bullet Rehab. I need to do extensive amount of suspension work to that Pontiac. That's been a great car. We've had it almost eight years, and that car don't owe us a damn thing. It just doesn't. And then the Charger. I got a few goodies that is going to be coming for the Charger as well. 
and then I might be getting another project car, but that's going to be a surprise, so we'll see what happens there. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Not really much else to show on this car. I will be documenting all the work that I do on this vehicle, as well as the other vehicles. This car is a Canadian model. Um, we just got a thing for Canadian cars around here, and uh, we love them. So they've been good cars to us, these Canadian cars. They, they use a different kind of... Um, uh, rust prohibitive pro, pro, prohibitive up there and it just seems to work because the underbody of the Pontiac is still really clean. This car is like mint underneath. The Charger is in really good shape underneath. So I, I do like these Canadian cars. They, they seem to have a better idea of what to use on them for rust, pro, you know, to keep the rust down. So that's it. But uh, thanks for watching. So this is the Saturn 2007 uh, Saturn Aura XR 3.6. Um, she's already named it. This car is Sally. So I will be referring to this car as Sally in the future. Of course, the Dodge is Mr. D. The Pontiac is Bullet. And uh, we'll go from there. So everybody have a great day. Talk to you later.